यूनेस्को वो हेरिटेज डॉक्यूमेंट्री और साइंस वुलिंगजन यूनेस्को चाइना The mountainous escape of Sangha Jaya is truly amazing, and yet you see the formidable and secretive lane to the mountainous region of Sangha Jaya, also known as Wu Ling Yan. Here I'm accompanied by a foreign woman, where I met her at my hostel. We both decided to come to this journey of paradise to see the making of Avatar. And the UNESCO World Heritage Spot, high up in the mountainous regions and altitude of Sangjaja. Here we have a nice, breathtaking view of the beautiful nature and the stalagmites with the stalactites that's in the making of Avatar. The winding escapes and the winding lane leading up to this high altitude is truly breathtaking. We have met many, many, many Chinese fellow and students, smiling and stalking at us. Yeah, we both enjoy the views and we photograph our way up in this nice high altitude. The nature is breathtaking, and it's truly unforgettable journey. Here I'm posing a selfie in the background of these viewpoints, and there are many escapes and many viewpoints that we have to journey through this mountainous region of landscapes and spots that are considered as UNESCO World Heritage spots. The further we climb up this mountainous region, the higher the altitude and the higher the views, the breathtaking the the Nature and the atmosphere is truly amazing. You have nothing to compare, as this is one of the best places to visit in China. This spot is truly amazing. It has more mountainous stalagmites and stalactites as compared to other spots. Within the forest of Sangjaja, we apparently got to take a cable car up this mountainous region. If we would have walked up this place, it would take one to two days even, and it's nothing as compared to a cable car journey. As we wander through this rainforest, this national park of Sangjaja, to this Wuling Yan. UNESCO World Spot. The atmosphere, the nature, is breathtaking. There's nothing in this world as compared to this place we are visiting now. Here we met so many different type of plants, botanical plants and trees, and the atmosphere is a mixture of botanical smells. This UNESCO World Heritage Spot is a must-visit place if you come to China. And, mount and the mountainous region contains monkeys and bamboo apes as well. But of course, you got to feed them in order to take a photograph or to please them for their appetite and the meal to make them survive in this national park. Uh, at the background of this place is a very marvelous, musty, breathtaking spot. It becomes so cloudy and misty that the native you uh, scumble onto is truly amazing, unforgettable.
and out of this poor, you have the best nature, environment, and atmosphere of a lifetime to enjoy. The cloudier and mystery it gets, the better the nature for us. And yet I traveled and journey to this unforgettable site. As I wandered slowly alone into this national park and down through a lane of different mazes, the journey is apparently clear to me that it's a secret national park, a secret place of UNESCO wonder mysteries. Therefore I advise for any hikers who come to this place to be accustomed to this hiking spots because they are truly marvelous and amazing and it's not easy for any newbie to come and just to research all of them. It takes a while and takes several hours to f to hike to all this UNESCO World Heritage spots, and it's a must to do if you come to this place of valuable compromise. Here is a secret spot of. Wu Ling Yan. It's got a grand palace sightseeing platform. It's got a grand sightseeing platform if not mistaken and here you see the total overview of the stalagmites and the stalactites in the making of the avatar. The highest point of Wu Ling Yan is right here. And here there are some celebrities, some VIP even, who have stumbled upon this rock and then taking a nice photograph and a nice view of this nature. Here yeah, I'm waving my hand. I'm showing my two fingers and I'm making me making my way through this place. This is called the Emperor Throne. No wonder it's called so marvelous and grand name, the Emperor Throne. But it's surely a must visit place and a spot. And if you come here you'll be astonished at the height of this platform. Not everyone knows this place, not everyone will stumble upon this spot. And yet it takes a hiking distance to come up to this place with full bravery and courage. Back then and back here is another platform. This is the end of the dry of a hiking trail that at least right to this spot of monumental importance. Here you see the statue of Mao Zedong.